My powers have faded. All I have left is you, my faithful shade. All I ask of you is to wait and never to leave these caves. I shall sleep now for 400 days to gather my remaining strength. Wake me when the time has come to end all fear and longing. Alrighty, let's see if I can actually move around and stuff. Okay, not quite yet. Alright, so a shade, he says, So this is my home, a nice place to spend the next 400 days waiting. Alrighty guys, so this game, it's a very weird way to start it, because it doesn't have a title screen. Uh, this is Wee Rabbit, and today I'm checking out a game called The Longing, that it was one of the games that was announced during the last Nintendo indie world showcase and it actually launched that same day and it is a very very strange very experimental game where as you can kind of see from that little bit of you know cut scene at the beginning you play as this little guy called the shade and basically he's this servant to this like really powerful mythical king and he is tasked with waiting 400 days while the guy reclaims his strength and then it is up to him to wake that king up. And I don't know, it's kind of implied that that king's going to bring along like the end of like the world or some sort of like an apocalyptic event, I guess. And yeah, it's just this very strange game where, as you can see from the top, I don't know if you guys have noticed that little timer ticking down. Apparently the game works in real time. And there's no way to skip it. If you try to skip ahead, the game will... Um, Apparently, does it tap here or press A to activate? Make music. Uh, yeah, apparently if you skip ahead, the game will know you're cheating and it'll like punish you somehow. So it's a game that you're meant to play like a little bit each day doing some, um, you know, stuff here and there. This is the king warned me that I should never leave these caves. I wonder what exactly he meant by that. Um, so yeah, so basically, you know, I keep being interrupted by stuff, but basically you're supposed to play a little bit each day, doing different tasks and to-do lists, that sort of thing, and it's meant to pass in real time, and then you're supposed to get some sort of an ending, I guess. Uh, from what I've read, you don't have to actually play the 400 days. There is ways to make time go a little bit quicker by improving yourself, and I think there are endings that happen before the 400 days. But mostly it is a game that you're supposed to just play slowly, a little bit at, at a time, come back to it, and you're supposed to see, you know, how it changes along the way. So very, very strange, very experimental. Uh, so real quick, I've been kind of avoiding a lot of this stuff because I was still talking. But let's see what we can actually do around this little guy's house. So it says tap, tap here or press A to activate look at hourglass. Uh, time is progressing slow and steady, slow and steady. All right, what about, can we draw? See, I think drawing is one of the things I heard can make it go a little quicker, interestingly enough. Uh, so let's have him draw, uh, how about the moon? That sounds interesting. And how about we also have him draw himself? And then, yeah, so I'm still trying to get kind of use the controls are kind of weird. Draw. Uh, I don't know what this means. Is this two or X? Oh, maybe pause and stop. Oh, okay, yeah, I can pause it. I can stop it. So right now I'm just watching him draw. And yeah, so as you can see, it's just a really slow game. You just watch it unfold in front of you. So that kind of reminds me a bit of Animal Crossing, because or you know Harvest Moon, that sort of thing. It's the kind of game that once you get really into it, you might just pop in every so often, play for a little bit, and then leave. You know, just watch things progress. But I don't know. This is like so different. It's like so like gloomy looking and stuff, and you're all alone, which is weird. 
All right, so I want to see where his drawing ends. So he's supposed to be drawing himself. He's not that great of an artist. He's just drawing basically a black smudge. And you can hear the little noise. Because uh, as time goes by faster in the company of great art, this one deserves a special place on my wall. Move the red stick over a picture, then press A to reposition it. All right. All right, so yeah, you have your cursor. Let's see. Uh, I don't know if it really matters where we put it. Um, eh, let's put it above the chair for now. All right, awesome. All right, so we can draw some more, or we can have him. What's this? And I saw it earlier. Oh, is he not moving? All right, let's see. Can we pick this up? Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. Make music. I will need to find all four parts of this instrument before I can enjoy the pleasure of making music. I currently have one instrument part. All right. Yeah, so look at it. It's just such a strange, strange game, man. All right, sit down and read. Ah, nothing better than resting the weary body on a comforting armchair. Uh, so let's have him read a book. Uh, let's have him read... How about the Goose Girl? Let's see if he reads it out loud. Okay, so I was looking through it. It actually... You actually read. And it's like a whole actual story. So I'm not going to read that on camera. But it's interesting that, yeah, you can actually make him read. It's an actual story. Like They actually put an actual story. And he actually reads it. Which is really cool. But yeah, I'm not going to do that. Uh, so instead, how about we see if there's anything else we can do. How do we exit? There we go. All right, get out of the chair, buddy. All right, is there anything else he can do? Let's see, is there anything past that chair? What's up with that hole? It says, make a fire. Uh, my fireplace in this room could use a little warmth from time to time. So let's make a fire. Uh, only two pieces of flint first. All right, so I don't have anything apparently. Interesting. Uh, I know we're not supposed to leave the cave. Oh, hold on. There's some stuff right here. Pick up. A lump of coal will keep you safe, my little brother. <laughs> All right. Let's see. It says use Maddock. If I had a Maddock, I could hack through the wall and enlarge my little home. I guess he doesn't have one, though. Or what? I guess he doesn't have one. All right. Can I make a fire now that I have some stuff? No, I need more coal. Okay. All right, so you literally have to do like everything, everything. Interesting. Uh, let's see, can we pick up the coal on the table? Isn't that coal on the table? Hmm, looks like there's coal on the table, but hold on, hold on. Yeah, it doesn't look like he wants to look at the coal on the table. Hmm. Maybe it's not what I think it is. Okay, let's keep going. Alright, there you go. That's the king right there. He's slumbering. Very creepy. Uh, it says that I think the king will allow me to explore his vast realm, but I better remember the way back. Press Y for auto walk. Interesting. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, awesome. So weird. So what do I want to remember? Let's see. Remember. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know how you're supposed to set it up. I'll take a little stroll. Let's see where I end up. Okay. Yeah, you can hear the guy snoring, so he's like actually asleep asleep.
There's no need to hurry. I have plenty of time to walk. I mean, you say that, but I mean, I'm getting bored just watching you, dude. So, oh man, he is taking it. You know, he's like, I have 400 days. He's taking it. Uh, he's taking his his day in stride. I really like these stairs. Uh, I did a little bit of a weirdo. He's funny. Alright, you're almost there, buddy. You're almost there. Alright, new room. Alright, we're climbing some more stairs. Oh, there's a piece of coal. Perfect. I guess I've arrived somewhere. Eh, you're right. Yeah, see, this game really wants to take your time. It's so weird. I see something lying on the ground. Let's pick that up. A uh, lump of coal will keep you safe, my little brother. I now have three times coal. Perfect. That's so weird, man. Oh, no, 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 not that way, not that way. Why don't you go this way, buddy? Yeah, it's so weird. I'm still not, I'm still not used to the controls. Like, I want him to just keep walking, right? But instead, it's like he wants to, like, turn around. So I don't really know how you're supposed to, like, program him to, like, go where you want. It's kind of awkward. All right, let's see. Enter door. This door hasn't opened in a long time. It might take a while. Wow, even the door takes a long time to open. You gotta be kidding me, dude. Wow, that is so crazy. Alright, so how long is it gonna take for the door to open? Ooh, boy. Okay. Alright, let's skip ahead. Let's see if we ever get to the part where the door opens. Alright, we finally entered the damn door. <laughs> that took a few minutes. Uh, this seems like a great place to be lonely. I better remember the way. Alright. Let's see. Can I program him to remember this? What does that mean, though? Let's go back and see if everything is alright. Yeah, I wonder how, how do you program him to remember things, I wonder? Hmm. Yeah, I don't get it. But anyway, all right, let's see. Climb. All right, let's go in here. Oh, a bunch of gold and stuff. And there's something on the ground. What is that? A uh, piece of chalk. Now we'll be able to paint the pale moon that will remain forever enshrouded. It's dark. Uh, let's see, a bunch of gold. It says, use Madoc. The treasure is behind a nearly impenetrable window of crystal glass. Not that I could make much use of it anyway. So do we have the Madoc on us then? Because it keeps saying to use it, even though I haven't like, seen if he has it. Alright, I think I'm gonna go up and then we'll see if we can come back and go the other way. So if happens we go up. Oh boy, a lot of choices. Okay, let's just go back. Let's go the other way we didn't go. Before we go exploring all these doors and stuff. Okay. Oh man, just more choices. <laughs> no matter what, there's choices everywhere. Uh, he says, I am truly alone. Okay. 
that's actually kind of creepy to be like the only living thing in this area all by yourself just wandering around like that is actually kind of creepy like that's actually kind of like oof okay so there's a way up and there's a way down let's go down I guess I mean guys it's gonna be too dark and he can't see though or what's gonna happen no he can keep going Right. Uh, the lone guardian is patrolling the empty streets. Up this time. He walks so damn slow. <laughs> oh my god, he really does not take anything. He's not in a hurry at all. He has 400 days. I don't think he cares if, like, he spends the 400 days just walking around, wandering around. But he is so slow, dude. Now, there's just, like, more stuff to collect along the way, too. Like, there's not, like, like it's so empty. It's just walking, you know what I mean? Like, I wish he had stuff to collect. I think that would help a little bit, too, you know what I mean? So you're not just, like, walking randomly. Oh, boy. Uh, I wish I had someone to talk to, but I can still talk to myself after all. I just need to sit down for a while and sort out my thoughts. Oh, there's something to pick up. I don't even see any. Where is it? Wow, I didn't even see that. A lump of coal. Fallen brother is returning home. I have to times four coal. I didn't even see that coal. I didn't even see anything. It's all dark. At least if I ever make it back to like his little house or whatever. Um, hopefully by then I'll have enough coal to make a fire. <laughs> Alright, there's some sort of a paper there. Let's see what that is. Uh, this sheet of paper will be useful for my art studies. I wonder where it came from. I might not have two paper. Oh, because let me guess. He probably runs out of paper. He can't draw more, so you have to collect paper along the way too. Oof. I like the smell of earth. Well, that's good, I guess, because you're surrounded by it, so. So I obviously can't cross there. I want to see what he'll say about it, at least. Let's see what he says about it, even though I obviously can't cross. I doubt he can jump, honestly. Oh, can he jump? Uh, this jump is too exciting for my taste. I better wait for that stalactite to come down first. I guess that could happen in a week. Oh, wow. So that is a clue right there that if I wait a week, um, that will probably fall down and I can cross. That is crazy, dude. Wow. So, yeah, jumping is too exciting for him. <laughs> I love that. That's pretty funny. Okay, hold on. This is a bit different. I see some paper. I see some notes and stuff. Okay, this is a bit different. Let's see. Okay, it doesn't tell me what that is. But it seems like, like a little place where you would put um, either like a book so people can see it or like, you would put it because then you would stand there and like sing or whatever, you know? Oh, come on, get down. No, oh, come on. I want to go down. Oh my god. Yeah, the controls are so weird. Like, even when I'm putting, like, diagonally down. There, you have to go, like, all the way first. Okay. Uh, this... Okay, so I have three pieces of paper, so you find more paper. Okay, what is this? I hope the king doesn't mind if I borrow one of his books. You now have t five times books at home. Okay, yeah, so before I had some options of what to read. So I guess now he has more options, apparently. Okay, interesting. It's the directions are so weird, like, you have to, like, pick diagonal, 
and then like hold it so he'll go in that direction or else he'll turn around. It's like super weird. Okay, so this room looks really similar, except it does have more paper I think I can take. Oh, there's some coal. Some coal just fell. All right, six lumps of coal. Oh, there we go, some more. Oh, that one disappeared, damn it, okay. All right, four pieces of paper. So that's good, because I mean, that way he, if he's gonna run out, at least I have paper so he can draw more and pass the time or whatever. All right, let's go down, I guess. Yeah, these caves feel endless, dude. It is, like, so weird. It's like a whole kingdom here, but nobody's here except me, so... Oh, we're back over here, apparently. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So then we're gonna go down. Now that door that's kind of open, is that where we came from or do we come from a different direction? I wanna say that's where we came from, which is fine because I wanna go back to the house. I wanna see if I can make him, you know, make a fire, see what happens with that. The used door. So I think this is the way back towards the house. Should be. Oh, Flint. He didn't mention that the first time. Damn it. Alrighty, guys. So there you have it. Um, unfortunately, I made it all the way back to his house. I was excited to at least make the fire because that would be something different, right? Something like some sort of progress. And I can't even make the fire because that's right. He did tell us from the beginning that we needed Flint. I don't know where the hell the Flint is. So, yeah. I'm, unfortunately, I can't really do much. Uh, but there you have it, guys. I think this is where I'm going to cut it. This has been the longing. As you can see, The Longing is a very, very strange game, but it is one that I am very intrigued with. Um, I just never really played anything like it, even stuff that comes close to it, like Animal Crossing or The Sims, any of those games. Even those aren't quite like this, because this runs in like real, real time, and you have to actually like wait for events to happen, and you're meant to play it slow and stuff you know what i mean like it doesn't even feel like a video game it kind of feels like a little list of chores which is really weird um so i don't know i would be interested in maybe popping back in here and there seeing what changes in the story you know what other places you can go that sort of thing uh this definitely feels like the type of game that you probably play while you're doing something else you know what i mean like if you if you focus on just this you probably get really bored but i think it's the type of game that maybe if you you know, kind of have it running as you're like binge watching something on Netflix or something. You know, that probably helps pass the time, right? But yeah, what a very, very strange game. Like I said, I'm very intrigued with it. I really wonder what the developers thought when they were making this and putting it together. But there you have it, guys. This has been The Longing, one of the strangest games I've ever played. Where, yeah, it's just about being this little guy living 400 days of his life and just exploring and I guess just trying to do stuff i don't know it's just really weird very somber very quiet very i don't know it's just a very strange game there we go how are you guys this has been weeb rabbit playing the longing if you guys like what you saw like comment subscribe all that good stuff i will see you guys later have a good one Bye bye